Hello, how are you? It's always good to be here. Today we'll talk about curves. Curves are here and if you click on the menu, which you get when you're in the modeling menu set, you, when you click here and then you click right below, you can undock the curves menu and move it somewhere. Uh, we'll first check what lock and unlock length means. It basically ne means what it what it means what it says but it's interesting to to actually see how it works so let's create a curve i use this tool here could use the pencil tool as well uh, which would create many more cvs in between a much more complex curve which is fine too press enter and you have the curve here um, now let's le lock the length the length is locked now it's here in the attribute editor lock length so instead of uh, using this command here or pressing the key l uh, we could check this box as well so if we move the curve nothing really special happens but uh, when we press f8 to select the co components and we for example select the three of them with the uh, lock length unchecked this will happen and you see the curve gets stretched much much longer it's maybe double size three times the original size now and to this size when I lock the length however the curve behaves totally differently you see it tries to, to stretch and it tries to stay short And that's what it does maybe I can help with moving it up it always keeps to the same length when I'm here in the middle it does so much work in order to keep the length constant so for example if you model a street or a railway this is an important tool because it keeps the length intact you see when I move it down very far these things here start to move as well okay so that's lock length if I unlock it I can do everything with this curve of course now let's um, delete the curve and create a new one uh, now let's press and hold the key X and click here click here and click here so we get a totally press enter we get a totally straight um, curve the straight curve uh, has a very low resolution of course f8 shows us one two three four five maybe the curve starts here and it ends there um, we will rebuild the curve in order to have a better resolution because the next commands here are much more fun with a high res curve uh, how do we do this well we have very convenient here the curves menu set and here we have rebuild uh, basically reverse would mean the start is not here anymore it's here so it just turns the um, direction around but rebuild you need the option box here in I think most the cases and uh, the default is to set to 4 I uh, used when I tried it out 100 let's uh, go for 50 apply and close this this tab um, now F8 and you have 50 little points here okay F8 again. Now we ha you have the whole curve. Now let's go to not bend, let's curl it. Wow! Isn't that cool? That was just one single command and I curled it like this. Um, it's. I undo it by pressing Z and now I use the option box for curl. Curl amount is 2 currently and the frequency is set to 10. The default 
setting is to, set to 0 0.3 and the frequency to 1. That's different. You see, that's a very smooth curve. And you can repeat this command here by applying it again, 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 again. This is what you get. This is a starting point of the curve and it goes all the way to the end. If you uh, increase the curl amount here, you can put in a really crazy number like 10. And the curl frequency, um, well, 6, apply, that's what you get. A really amazing thing which is quite different from what we started with. Uh, let's reset this and close the window. Well, I think it's not bad at all. And now we'll uh, smooth it. Let's get smoother and smoother. It doesn't remember where it came from, but it thinks we'll smooth all the edges and the curls, etc. And you can smooth it as long as you like. And of course, you have here an option box when you can where you can choose a smooth factor of 100, which is, well, it becomes a flat curve sooner or later. Let's reset this as well. Well, straighten. Of course, it will straighten the curve. We could have done that with the curls before. Let's straighten it. It's straightened, you see. Curl, 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 and straighten. So it's um, um, that's the straighten. The um, curl, 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 smooth is smoother, smoother, smoother. And um, now a, a very nice thing is the bend. Let's bend it. Oops, what does it do? Bend it again. It is curling actually, but it's uh, curling only in one dimension and that is called a bend here. You have this little icon which shows you exactly what it does. The curl is the same thing in more dimensions. You see now it gets curly in this dimension here. Curl, 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 curl. Okay, to finalize this uh, I created a new scene and now it's going to be punky. It's going to be a really fun stuff without really using lots of brains. Create a new curve. Rebuild the curve. 120. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we have a real complex curve now. Create a sphere, a NURBS curve sphere. Now click on the curve and click on the sphere and use an extrude, which is here. Now you have this funny thing here. And now with the curve selected, uh, you try the curl. And the curl's default is this one, which we can use now. Lovely. And uh, use it again. And maybe go to an extreme value like this. We reset the settings in order to get everything all right when we use it next time. And now it's time for bending and bending again and bending again so we get a really odd uh, object and then we smooth it and that's what the, the smoothing does and then of course we have an intermediate or we straighten it whoops and we bend it again and we curl it again so we get really crazy objects here and now we go to the NURB circle, which we rebuilt as well with crazy 120 <laughs> CVs, that little thing here, that little profile which is sitting here in the middle of the, in the center of the scene. And we can curl it too. Can we not? Oh no, we cannot. Error and scale curve. We cannot bend it. So what, we, what can we do? We can rotate it. Yeah, that's what we can do. I think it's too complex in geometry to actually bend it. So we can rotate it. And of course, we can scale it. Scale it down or up. So 
that's what we get now and of course we need to render this in order to see it all right so let's create a sky dome light using Arnold let's create a polygon plane where the whole thing sits on oh, where is the plane it's very small of course in our huge scene now big 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 we lower it a little bit like this and we find a nice angle for rendering I guess the light will be too bright but we render it and that's what we get and finally it's time for a real funky shader so we pick the extrude surface can close the curves thing now and we assign a new shade a new material an Arnold shader Arnold standard surface shader which appears here it's slightly shiny and now we use one of the presets here for example copper and we replace the whole thing and that's what we get all with very simple curve tools I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did have a nice day